Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the infill pattern. Now you can see here I have it set to grid in the preview and it is just that, a grid of squares basically. There are a ton of infill patterns that you can try and some of them shift the design minutely as the layers move up but therefore making more use of the space inside and giving you more structural integrity. Uh, depending on which one you use some of them can be better for uh, forming solid objects. This one, as you can see, expands, retracts, expands, retracts, and it is using 24 grams of filament to fill my 15% infill density. Now, something interesting that the slicer does, if I'm going for 15% density and I change my pattern to, let's try quarter cubic and slice that. Remember we were using 24 grams with the amount of infill we had last time? We haven't changed the percentage of the infill density and our infill usage has gone up because we're now using 25 grams of filament, which is a minute amount, but that's because it can't get the percentages exact between the two different patterns because each pattern requires at the very minimum a specific amount of filament to draw. So they all vary very slightly, although this one at 25 uses no more filament than the standard grid pattern, which is also coming out to a 25 gram slice when it's done. You can see here, down in the corner, it is 25 grams as well. So there is a slight advantage apparently to printing with that cross gyroid pattern, and you are saving a little bit of filament, but if you're going for a particular percentage of infill, it doesn't matter if the difference is uh, negligible, as long as you get the percentage that you're going for. Now. There are a couple other patterns that we can take a look at here real quick. Uh, let's try the zigzag pattern. My slicer is actually working pretty well today. This is 4.5, everything seems to slice pretty well. Now in the zigzag pattern, it's gonna do somewhat like the cube pattern, except it's going to put down one way and then the other, and you can see in here it does travel against the wall and give you a little extra bracing there instead of just being straight lines all the way across. So that is pretty structurally sound. As you know, triangles are probably the strongest shape found in nature and having these corners is going to improve your corners a little bit. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.